Guys, before we get started with this video, I made this a little bit after I recorded everything, but I realized the whole time during this video that I was calling Mass Hole Report Mass Hole Records. It's not their name, it's Mass Hole Report. Check them out, they have great content. Uh, check out the latest episode of the stream where these talks, where this, a lot of this came from, pretty much all of it came from. Um, Mass Hole Report on YouTube give them some love and i definitely appreciate it so here's a video well who knew that i would be back so quick been reading all the comments off the latest video where we took a look at the comments made by from some of the best fans of the chili con queso the leets laws fan club slash cult glad you guys are here i i told you guys i wanted to make a video and i i took a few clips from this video, um, it's by, uh, shoot, Mass Hole Records. Uh, check them out. Uh, I will leave a link in the description. But basically, this voice clip, this stuff from the video, is pretty telling of what kind of person you guys are supporting. You guys think, I'm crazy. Wait until you listen to this motherfucker. By the way... This is just my opinion. By the way, I have no facts. I can't prove anything. I'm just using my First Amendment right to voice my opinion. That's all I'm doing, guys. So let's go ahead and listen to this really quick, and we'll get back. Now, you also uh, possibly found some proof of, uh, you know, so, um, some um, possible drug use when he was at your home, too, right? Right. So your home where you have children. Yes, I have, I have, my daughter turned 10 in January and Chili would, we have, I live in a 3-2. He was staying in the basement in Caleb's room and going through my son's belongings without asking. Who does that? He's going yeah, through my son's that. stuff. But he would come up and use the shower and he would rock around this house in a towel in front of my daughter. And we told him multiple times it was inappropriate to do that. He would get water bottles and he would toss them on the ground as he's walking through the house. Um, he spilt coffee from one side of the, of the kitchen to the other side and didn't offer to clean it up, just walked away from it. But Sue was folding laundry and there was a box on the table and the box was for a dashboard camera and it had duct tape on it. And she said, hey, Tina, is this yours? And I said, no, well, let's see what's in it. We open it up and there's a bunch of unused hypodermic needles. Sealed. And they didn't belong to either one of us. Yep, in your house with, with children. With children. That's I mean, correct. That's absolutely unconscionable. So when he said he didn't care about what happened to my son, that I'm gonna be dead. Um, he ran my sister off. She was so, it was just so much for her. She had to leave. So this guy basically spoke with this woman. I, f I forget where she's from. I don't wanna dox her or anything, but she gave Mr. Chili a place to stay for a little while. And this was kind of what you're hearing. Uh, he basically disrespected this person while they gave her like they gave him you know a place to stay when he needed it and he treated these people like shit did some pretty questionable things in front of their daughter going through their s dead son's stuff without any permission and possibly carrying around drugs in the house now you know if i was to let somebody come to my home and stay with me just for a little bit till they get on their feet you know I would do everything I can to respect them and take care of things I would not be going out of my way to disrespect these people because I'm not that kind of person but mr. chili con queso that's his name by the way chili con queso we can't say his name is chili blah, 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 blah. I don't always like I don't care deletes laws my opinion my opinion guys my opinion guys sorry we can't prove it. But anyways, this guy basically just used these people 
and abuse their mourning. You know, this lady had a son that was murdered, basically. And this guy is seeping off of her mourning, her grieving, taking advantage of her, which is ridiculous. Because this lady sounds like she's really nice, you know, and she thought that he was doing some good. Now, you guys go to Mass Hole uh, Records on their channel. Watch that whole video. We're going to play a little bit more of the phone call, um, which this is this is going to get good. I'm just going to tell you. So let's take a look at this. All in. Are you? I am. All right. Well, then, I have a little faith, man. I'm just trying to figure it out, dude, because, like, I, I'm, I'm not fit to get out there and support the wrong thing. For me, this is real life, dude. Like, I do this, this shit for a reason. I'm, I'm, huh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I got, a, I got something for you, too. I got a gift for you. What's that? Because, I I'll mean, tell you, I'll... like, I can't be bought like a bitch, neither. They don't learn that the hard way. It's a fucking t-shirt, Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, nigga, like, you can't buy me like a bitch. I ain't bought all that. It's a fucking so. t-shirt. With you. I don't have enough money to buy you. I told you I'm under a thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm worth more than that. You know, I'm on the stripper game, pay more than that shit. Well, well, let me know, bro. I can always use the hundo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, I just want to make sure this ain't no game, man, that you ain't playing like your supporters are like tripping. You know, they trying to talk to you, they trying to reason with you, and <laughs> Tina's fucking, and, and, and we what, a couple of days away from Caleb's death? Man, Tina tripping. Karina? Uh, oh, just Tina and and Tom and all of them, all the ones, all the ones that I'm talking to. But see, the thing is, I ain't, I ain't really got. It. You ever heard this before? Has anybody else told you the problems of Terry? Has anybody else taught you this? No, dude, I ain't, I ain't heard about that until you know you. Right. So, so I brought the knowledge, and now I'm bringing the fucking game to get it done. We have to get it done. It's a life and death game. There, but it's not a game. You know, everything we do, you, you can never predict how it's going to go. I couldn't I could have never got 10 mega influencers to talk about Terry. Did you see the text messages I, I sent to people asking them about Terry? I put up like 10 of them. Yeah, the, 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 your, you, your life is in danger. The one because you sent me, and I was like, who, who is Tom? Oh, it's Tony. And he was like, oh, copy and paste. No, dude, my life is not in danger. My life's in danger from the FBI and the DEA. My life is not in danger from thugs on the street. Well, why they gotta be thugs? Like, you know... I'm, well, the guy who made the video is a thug. You didn't see him? I, I, ain't, I ain't watch none of it, pimp. Oh, yeah, he's a straight thug. It is what it is. Dude, I'm not insulting anybody. I'm just saying, you know, we gotta make this happen. And so that's what I'm doing. But it ain't, it ain't a game. I didn't know it was gonna blow up that big. And for a while, it was scary and hard and... And then I, I've gotten peace because I've known that the whole way, the whole goal is to, is to get as much people as we can to pay attention. Yeah. And so now, and, and by the way, when you see this video I've made for Tina, you let me know what you think, dog. You let me know what you think. I made a fucking masterpiece, bro. This video so far is amazing, bro. Hold on. Let me open my TikTok real quick. I want to see this shit. Like, Look at Granny.coy. Granny.coy? Who is that? I'm sorry, Granny Koi Bundy. Granny, and that's her name on Facebook? C R A. It's on Instagram. It's on TikTok. You gotta open your TikTok. I'm, I'm doing it now. Granny Koi Bundy. You don't think Tina's going to be devastated by our 25 year old son being murdered? You got another thing coming, bro. How many, how many parents of dead children have you spoken to over the past 20 years? I've spoken to hundreds. The most famous one here is Brandon Ellingson. His dad's Craig Ellingson. Guess who used to talk to Craig Ellingson all the time? Who? Me. Me. Craig and I are friends. The, oh. Craig and I are friends. He just, he just bought a couple of my posters. He bought a couple of posters that he's never going to use. He just bought a couple of posters to support me. And, and then what I did is I gave it to you because you said you didn't have no money. So I was like, all right, well, I'll give you 50 bucks. Just keep you going on your feet until you get to your next place. And then when I need 50 bucks, I'll hit you up in 50 bucks. And you'll, you'll hit me back. That's what friendship is. When you trust one another and you love one another and you know the truth is, is that we have the same intention. We have the same heart. That's why I love you, Larry. Because you're fucking genuine, bro. And there's so few people like you, dude. There's so few people. You either got to be like a, come from the hood or you got to be fucking 
hard or you got to be fucking raw or you got to be fucking not the victim of the police brutality. You have to go on some do some shit before you're like, you know what? Money doesn't matter. Pussy doesn't matter. Nothing matters. What matters is changing change lives, change. man. Change lives. That's change what matters lives, to me. Larry. Change people's lives around the world. You know, Terry, the Ohio's been exported to every single Democratic Republic around the around the world. I'm getting emails from Canada every day. Imagine how many contacts I get a day. Imagine how much information is injected into my brain a day. Yeah. Because I'm crowdsourced. That's 300,000 followers. I'm, and then Granny's got 3.1 million, and she interviewed Tina twice. So it's all about numbers in the show. Like, that's what it's it not, sounds like, man. And no, you're, you're, you're mistaken, Larry. You're looking at it the wrong way. Man, I mean... I hope I can be real with you now. You I are, like, for real. Like, like, I'm just trying to understand, because, well, like, to keep it, it sounds like we're yeah. on different, uh, obst- you know, we're on different ends of the of the stick, kind of. No, we ain't. We're on the same stick. I got to keep editing. So if you want to come over, come over, but I got to keep editing. I got to keep editing this video for Tina so we can get federal attention. I have humanized this boy. I have humanized him. He's and a human he anyway. That's the thing. See, what? And that's where it gets mis- the color of his eyes. You gotta see what he looks like. You gotta see his smile. You gotta see him with his sister. You gotta see him holding a dog. Caleb Slay right now is another hashtag. Tomorrow, he's a person. He was a person Tomorrow before he, he passed. He's still a person. But that's okay. Go, okay, let, let me. Okay, I'm gonna challenge you a little bit here. All right. I'm not challenging a black man. I'm challenging just a regular man here. You're. I'm a regular man. You are too. Go on your Instagram and put hashtag just. I ain't got an Instagram. Number. Okay, well, if you go on Facebook and you put hashtag justice in the number four, and then look at the list of choices, there's going to be thousands. It's thousands, dude. Because it populates for you. You put in the letter J and Jen, Jennifer, Jamie, J- Jesus, you name it, all the way across. You put in the letter B, Brandon, Brenda, Boop, Bobby. You know, it just keeps going. You put in the letter C, Charlie, Kate, Cat, Christopher, it just never stops. You can't find justice for Caleb until you put the third or fourth letter. After the video is done, you put in one letter, justice for Caleb will pop up. That's what we have to get. We got to get justice for Tina. There's a couple goals here. The first goal is to get Caleb national attention and the grieving mother to say he was killed on a Terry stop, which is what she's saying. When she called me up and told me my kind of, my son was killed on a Terry stop, I'm a white Republican from a law enforcement family. I said, I'll pack my bags. I'll see you soon. Yeah. We have to get the we have to get the white conservatives to say Terry is bad. Black people are never listened to. Black lives don't matter since the beginning of our country. Oh. You know, do you know that before 1965, no no white no. person was ever prosecuted no, Oh, yes, yes, yes. Willie Brewster. Willie Brewster was driving in a car down the road in Anister, Alabama. And when he drove down the road, it was a year after the 64 Civil Rights Act had passed. A guy named Darren Strange shot him in the back as he just randomly shot the car and he drove by. Now, Willie was in the car with three other guys and they hit him right in the lower spine. He didn't die right away. He laid on the bed for three days. A doctor that overstayed, oversaw him named Dr. T.C. Donald. He said he sat with he sat with a, with Willie Brewster every day, and he talked to Willie about his life, and he told him all about his life. And then Dr. T. C. Donald put his name in the paper with two hundred other prominent white conservatives, and he said, "We are done with the murdering of black men in Alabama, and we'll put up a twenty thousand dollar reward to find out who shot Willie Brewster." Well, those fucking poor racists—they turned him in within ten seconds. And Darren Strange was the first man. Now, that's 1965. He was prosecuted. He didn't do a day in jail. He went out on appeal. He got shot in the face by the mechanic three months later because he was a piece of shit racist. Now, let me ask you a question, Larry. How many black people were killed before 1965? Shit, I can't even tell you, bro. How many were lynched? The first man who ever got his case prosecuted was in 1965. That's why, I, I, you know I know Black Lives Matter. What I'm saying is, from the beginning of time since our country started, Black Lives have not mattered. See, they, they still are not mattering. They're still getting murdered in the street on camera. Nothing's happening. Because- he, he just talked himself into a circle. 
he had, he just told him black lives didn't matter and now he's saying black lives do matter so what's weird about this this is you know i'm kind of interjecting every once in a while so what is weird about this video is the fact that he's trying to appeal to this man just because of the color of his skin now in my opinion in my opinion you know cannot be proved it's just my opinion it's my first amendment right to have an opinion this is a little bit racist a little bit of racism a little bit of sprinkled in some racism there i'm just gonna say i mean i don't know if it's racism it's just my opinion if it's racism but instead of talking to a man of color as a human being you talk to him as trying to appeal to them because what you think he stands for. You can't just assume that every black, you know, any person of color, doesn't matter what the color of their skin is, is for a certain thing. You don't say, oh, he's black, so therefore he likes Black Lives Matter. That's racism. And I know you'll probably say, well, I'm not racist. My my friends are black and um you know, I have a Black Lives Matter sticker on my car. So therefore I'm not racist. Dude, that's just like if I was like, "Hey, I love hot dogs. I see you have mustard on that hot dog, but I don't like mustard. I like slaw on my hot dog." But I come up to you and you have mustard on there and I'm trying to appeal to you. It's like, "Yeah, I totally think that hot dog looks great with the mustard on there. That mustard, mustard lives matter, you know. Um, you know, mustard's yellow and mustard, you know, is important. What a fucking retard, honestly. Talking yourself in the circles. So black lives matter? Black lives don't matter? What fucking matters? What fucking matters, honestly? Quit trying to appeal to the man. Again. Talk to him as a human being, not as a black man. Talk to him as a human being. That's how that's how things should be, right? Should, how should thing, things should be? It should be no, shouldn't be one of those things where, oh, my friend is black and my sister married a black man, so therefore I'm not racist. That's racism. That's racism. It's closet racism, but it's racism. In my opinion. So you are a fucking racist, in my opinion. I, I can't prove you're a racist. Anything I say is just an opinion, guys. Just my First Amendment right to just say my opinion. I'm just guessing. So let's look a, bit, a little bit further into this. Ironton, on one of his YouTubes, he says, I hear you have a little bit of money. Boom! Busted! And that, of course, is what he and, and, and Josh Abrams are always concerned about is, you know, where they can get the money. Um, yep. That's what they want to do that. Yep. Yep. So, but in this long, this conversation with Larry, he goes into great detail about how he's never going to live to see Terry v. Ohio overturned, that the CIA is going to kill him. Yeah, so he's, he's setting himself up for death by cop. He's doing it now with Ironton. Paranoid fucking dude. I want to listen to a little bit more of this, even though it does gross me out. Because we have a law in place to allow the police to kill people without any charges. And that law is called Terry versus Ohio. I will give my life for it. And they'll take it. They're going to kill me. But I'm going to set your life with in danger. They're going to kill me, Larry. It's not going to be some dumb motherfucker on TikTok. It's going to be the CIA. That's who's gonna kill me, Larry. They're listening to me now. They're listening to you now. Oh, they! I know they, I'm being listened to. Cause nigga, I, I walk the clan gonna... compound. Like, like, fuck, oh, they're digging a clan after me. Seriously, like that's some real shit. I mean, I didn't anticipate this amount of attention, but I welcome it. That's for sure. I welcome this amount of attention because we have to change this, man. This is terrible. This is horrible. So after the appealing and all that stuff, you hear Chili with his tinfoil hat on. 
he's wanting to be a martyr. And, you know, they kind of call that out a little bit, saying that he's trying to get death by cop, which is suicide. It's still suicide. He thinks he's a fucking martyr. He thinks that the CIA and the FBI is going to assassinate him once this law was appealed. He's trying to use people's grief as a weapon to get money and support. This is what it is, guys. He goes from house to house, town to town, grifting. Grifting off people's pain. Getting that money. This is, guys, this is all about money, in my opinion. This is all, he doesn't want to help you. He's wanting to help himself. This guy has done a lot of things. A lot of things to try to make him a big, outstanding person. He wants to be seen. He does. And, you you, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, why do you care? Why are you making fun of him? He, he's doing great. He, he's, he's the greatest person. He is literally Jesus Christ. No, he's a fucking idiot. He's fucking retarded. He's fucking racist. And, again, guys, that's all my opinion. I don't know if he's an idiot or racist or Jesus. You know, it's just my opinion, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't prove it. It's not a fact. So, just gotta let you know my First Amendment right to call you a stupid motherfucking racist bitch that probably sucks ten dicks at once and fucks his mom. Why, yes, that is my opinion. But I'm sorry, I digress, I digress. So we got a man that's not only racist, a scam artist, a stupid motherfucker, partially retarded, in my opinion, all of that's my opinion, guys. I'm not going to defame you. I don't know you personally. I don't know you personally. But anyways, you don't talk to somebody or take advantage of people that are trying to support you. And once these people don't support you, you attack them. Now, again, guys, you should watch that whole video. Watch the whole phone call. And it's, like I said, it's Mass Hall Records. I will put a link in the description below. Check that out. If you live at Ironton and you support this guy, I'm sorry. He made a fool of you. He's using you. You don't want to believe it because you're thinking, this guy is going to save me. He's not going to save you. You know, he says he's putting an auditor out. What's an auditor, for the most part, in his opinion, is having some guy with a camera being a bitch to police. Like, that's all it is. If you watch YouTube videos, it's all the same thing. Guy gets out of his car says, oh, I know my rights. Give me your badge number. Give me your name. Starts being a dick to cops, trying to tell them how to do their jobs. I mean, that's what an auditor is. That's what they do. They're just bitches with microphones. That's what it is. Now, I do see a case for a real auditor. But what he's doing and what several YouTubers are doing is making a meme of themselves. They make themselves look stupid. They make themselves look like assholes. But they're saying they're doing it for people like us. They have the moral high ground. We should trust them to do their work for us. That's what this is all about. This is all about Chili Con Queso, Captain Spooge, King Spooge, Spooge King, Chili Boy, in my opinion. This is all about him doing these things for us so he could be a martyr and, you know, save us with making himself getting killed by cops to redeem our sins. This guy is not fucking Jesus. He's not. Stop. Stop. Just take a look at everything. Take a look back at what this guy has done. You can check out, see if he has outstanding arrest. Restraining orders. You can check that out, too. You can find those. You can find this public record. Check those out. I'm not going to include those in the video. 
I'll let you guys decide if I'm telling the truth. You have a public record. Being a stupid bastard. A stupid racist bastard. In my opinion. Sorry guys, that's just my opinion. Can't really say if that's true or not. Just can't. Just can't. But yeah. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. And you know, I have the haters... And, you know, I appreciate you just watching. But you guys are being swindled. You guys are being fooled. You guys are getting the rope tied around your neck. You guys are getting reach arounds without using lube. This guy is literally fucking you. And you just don't know it. You allow him to do these things. You allow these people... To do these things because you think you're going to get something out of it. The only person that's going to get anything out of it is going to be him. Okay? He likes this kind of stuff. He likes being put on blast. He likes people talking about it. He has to be in the limelight. That's what he is. You know, this guy has failed at everything he's done. From his cock sock, his super diabetes, his websites... Well, well, he had some sex escort sites, I believe. Yeah, you, know, you, you can see that too on that video. I won't rehash him. I want you guys to check out her video. I'm telling you, it's great. It's worth looking into. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate you. Um, you guys are great. You guys really are. And, you know, I hope that you guys don't listen to this racist, stupid motherfucking bitch, in my opinion. In my opinion, guys. I hope you guys have a great opinion, too. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon.